In this video, we'll be showing you how to install a set of the Tusk D-Flex wraparound style handguards. The Tusk D-Flex handguards are made with a durable aluminum frame that securely attaches to your bars. These guards also feature high coverage plastic handguard shields to give the rider the ultimate lever and hand protection against the elements. The Tusk D-Flex handguards have been put through some extreme testing and have succeeded. We've all done the bike at least once in our life and it's bound to happen again. So it's awesome to be able to pick your bike back up and not see your clutch lever or brake lever still laying there on the ground. So if you're looking for something very affordable and you don't want any compromise on quality and strength of the guards, the Tusk D-Flex handguards are an excellent choice for you. So to install a set of these onto your bike, you first need to determine if your bars are steel or aluminum and whether they are 7 8 inch bars or 1 and an eighth inch bars. The aluminum handguards come set up for 7 8 inch bars, so if you're installing these onto 1 and an eighth inch bars, you'll need to purchase the big bar adapter, and we'll talk a little more about that here in a minute. So as you know, the aluminum bars will have a thicker wall than the steel bars do, so obviously the rubber sleeve isn't going to fit into these bars. This rubber piece will be used on the steel handlebars, but for these aluminum bars, we'll go ahead and remove that rubber sleeve. Now you should be able to slide that bar mount into the bar end and to tighten that mount, you'd simply tighten the allen head bolt on the outside. If you're installing these onto a set of 7 8 inch bars, you'll simply disassemble the provided set of bar clamps and then attach them onto your handlebars. These clamps feature a swivel style mount and this design makes it easy to position your handguards in the desired location. Obviously you'd have your plastic shields on at this point. This was just to kind of give you an idea of how the inner bar mounts for the 7 8 inch bars are installed and adjusted. Today we're installing a set of these handguards onto a new 300 XCW, so we'll move on to that installation. To gain access to install the inner bar end mounts, on the left side we found that hitting the end of the grip with a hammer cuts out a nice circle in the center of the grip. You could also use a razor blade to do this. For the right side, we're going to loosen up the throttle housing and then slide it out away from the bar a little bit go ahead and tighten it back down for now. Using a hacksaw, we're going to carefully cut off the very end of the grip and throttle tube. You don't want to cut off any more than 3 millimeters. Once you have it cut, it's important to clean off that edge inside and out to get all those burrs and shavings out so the throttle operates smoothly. Now we can loosen that housing up and slide it back onto the bar. You want to have a little clearance between the end of the throttle tube and the bar end, maybe a couple millimeters, and that required us to slide the brake assembly and our starter button down the bar just a little bit. As you can see, these bars had a plug in the end of them, so we need to remove that in order to be able to install these handguards. So now back to the big bar adapters, when you order a set of these for your 1 and an eighth inch bars, you'll notice the inside of the clamps are tapered. In other words, one side is smaller and the other side is bigger. It's designed like this to match the taper of your bars and give you a solid mount. With that being said, it's critical that you mount these correctly and not mismatch the tapers. To prevent this, we've marked one side of each piece with a P and you want to keep these together when they're being mounted. So we'll go ahead and loosely install this clamp and for the mount location, we're just kind of guessing where it's going to go. We may need to slide it up or down the bar a little bit when we install the handguard. And after we have that right mount loosely installed, we can move over and repeat those steps for the left mount. As you can see, we've loosened up our clutch perch to give us a little easier access to install our handguard mount. And now it's time to install our plastic hand shields onto the aluminum frame pieces. As you can see, they'll just slide into place and then you'll secure them with the provided screws. Go ahead and install each of those screws and then you can tighten them down. After that, we'll repeat those same steps to install the other shield. And now that the shields are installed, we can install the bar end mounts by disassembling them, then running that bolt through the aluminum guard, through the plastic shield, then back through the bar mount. And you just want to leave this finger tight for now. Since these are going into aluminum bars, we can remove that rubber sleeve from both mounts. And now we're ready to fit it on the bike. Go ahead and install that into the bar end. And then we'll push that in towards the bike while we snug that mounting bolt down. 
Now we can line up that inner bar mount with the elongated hole in the guard. As you can see, this one's already pretty close. If you can, go ahead and install that mounting bolt. And then you can begin to position the handguard where you want it to sit. You may have to loosen up that clamp mount and rotate it or move it to get it lined up and fitting correctly. One thing to check after you have the guard loosely fitted is the angle of the aluminum handguard compared to the handguard clamp mount. Keep in mind this angle will vary with each set of handlebars because the rise and pullback of the bars will both affect the angle of this aluminum guard. A lot of times this bolt will suck the guard down enough so the angle isn't a problem, but if you find that your guard has an angle that's maybe a little too hard, maybe you have a set of bars that are really flat or maybe they have a really far pullback, you can easily adjust that angle by bending the aluminum guard in a vise so it fits your bars perfectly. So we'll take a note of where we want to make the bend and then go ahead and remove the handguard from the bars. When you're removing the bar end clamp, you want to be careful and not back that bolt all the way out of that inner nut. So a trick we've learned is just to slightly loosen the bolt and then push it in. And most of the time that's going to allow you to pull the clamp out. If it doesn't just pull out, don't keep backing the bolt out. Just use the screwdriver to kind of just pry it out and you can see our nut is still on there. So now we can take it over to the vise and secure it in there and then bend it to approximately the correct angle. After that, go ahead and reinstall it on the bike and check your fitment. After you install that bolt and tighten down the other clamp, you can see that the angle is perfect now. And now we'll just repeat those steps for the right hand guard. And for this one, it looks like we'll have to slide the clamp up the bar a little bit in order for it to line up with the hole in the hand guard. So we'll go ahead and do that by loosening the mount bolts and slide that up just a hair. Go ahead and snug those bolts back down. And then we'll install our bolt. And again, we'll check the angle. As you can see, this one isn't bad. And we'd probably run it like this. But to get it perfect, we'll go ahead and give it a slight bend with the vise to get that angle right so it sits flush with the mount. So now we're ready to check the height of our hand guards and get them set where we want them and at the same height. Then we can begin tightening down all the hardware. And after that, we'll check our controls and set their position. You want to make sure your throttle has smooth action and that it isn't going to stick anywhere. And you can see we've got plenty of clearance with the hand guard, so we can go ahead and tighten that throttle housing down. After that, we'll check our brake lever and make sure we've got full range of motion with the lever. Then we'll check clearance of the brake in the front and around the side as well. You don't want any part of that brake touching the hand guard. Let's go ahead and adjust it if you need to, and we'll go ahead and tighten this one down. And now we can move over and check our controls with the left hand guard. And when you tighten down the bar clamp bolts, you want to make sure it's not bottoming out. If the clamp does bottom out, you may need to slide it down the bar a little bit more. So now that we have that mount tight, move out and tighten the bar end mount the rest of the way. And you can check that other hand guard bolt as well. It's important that the clutch lever does not contact the hand guard at any point through its full range of motion. Go ahead and make any adjustments if you need to, and then we're done with the install. If you're looking for a little more protection from the elements, we also have plastic handguard spoilers available that just bolts on over the D-Flex plastic hand shields. And to install these, you'd simply remove the one outer bolt from the shield, then we'll swap that bolt out for the provided longer bolt, slide that through the front spoiler hole, and install it onto the handguard. Go ahead and start that front bolt, and then we'll move around and install the provided shorter bolt to secure the rear of the spoiler. Once both bolts have been started, tighten them down and repeat those steps for the other side. You can also choose to go with the different styling of the MX Deflex hand shields on the Tusk Aluminum handguards by simply ordering these parts separately. We've designed these shields to be compatible with the aluminum handguards by simply drilling out the pre-marked hole on back of the shield. And then you can simply install it onto the guard with the provided hardware, the longer bolts for the inside hole. Go ahead and install those bolts and tighten them down. You also have the option of running the MX Deflex shields with the integrated turn signals. 
And these are an excellent option for the street legal bikes because they really clean up your bars and eliminate those blinkers that hang off to the side. So whichever setup you choose for your bike, know you're now protected and ready to hit the trail harder than ever. Rocky Mountain ATV MC carries a huge variety of handguards to fit your specific riding needs. Thanks for watching and we'll see you out on the trail.